Will Levis finished the day 9 for 14, 85 yards, and a touchdown. I'm not going to lie. After I turned off that Will Levis tape and watched every snap of what he did, I was pretty damn impressed. He didn't feel lazy. He didn't feel airy behind his throws, but what say you, Ken? Yeah, that's, again, Will Levis, another guy who I saw a couple of those snaps, and I think contrary to what we saw in in training camp a guy who i was like oh he looks ugly he looks like he's going to be the quarterback three uh you know it, it wasn't like that and obviously malik willis was outperforming uh, a guy who was playing very well so to me i think that will levis game was very assuring because another guy who like this guy was getting first overall pick hype for a right. couple days i remember making right. a video on, before we did our draft last year and i was like this has got to be the dumb, like, this is not real. Like people who believe this stuff, just, <laughs> just, like, you know, he's not going number one overall. And it's always, it's wow. again, it's the people who just want clicks, but very exciting. And I think, you know, very funny enough, I think, you know, him and Tannehill, two similar guys. I just think Levis has that size and that rushing ability. A guy who I was saying, I really liked him coming into the draft. I think a guy yeah. who has all of the talent, all of the size to be a successful quarterback. And I think, Obviously, with the Titans now getting Hopkins, having Henry, he definitely has a, a cushiony system. He can give the ball to Henry. Um, and you have Hopkins, who obviously best hands in the league still. Yeah. So I think for Levis, it was exciting. The real question now is, where does that put him in the ranks of quarterbacks? Because I think going into to preseason, it was, okay, it's the quarterback two fight, and I thought he was losing it. But now it's like, can he get into that QB1 mm -hmm. uh, argument? Yeah, and I guess, I mean, you know, from seeing that, I think he can. And again, if we're able, like you said, very experienced coach, a guy who knows what it takes to win and, you know, yep. know what it takes to win in playoff games. Right. Uh, and obviously the Titans made a statement. Like they got Hopkins. They're definitely a contender now in mm -hmm. their division. So I think Levis has all of it to prove. And I think that was a great way to, to kind of put his footprint in the game. Yes, absolutely. And, and you know, we consistently talk about how Mike Vrabel gets the most out of his guys, whether it's defense, offense, special teams. Like he milks his players. He understands the – or rather the players understand, you know, the level of dedication that you really have to have in order to play for Mike Vrabel. And I think Will Levis is going to pick up on that sense that, and hell, I want to even say week one of the preseason really, really showed that because he mostly looked great. He was very calm. He was very composed. That's what I liked a lot. He didn't look rattled. The mechanics were nice. The release was very fluid. His stature in the pocket, I thought looked really good. And he didn't, you know, like I said, as we got into his name for the segment, he didn't really look lazy on his throws or loose. Like I thought he did at times in Kentucky. Like I thought he did at his pro days. Like I thought he did at the combine. And maybe I'm looking in too much of a pro day and a combine, but the college tape, I didn't necessarily like to see, you know, what he showed me at times. So I was nervous as he went into the league and he did have the mm -hmm. interception at the very end of the game. You know, he almost goes unscathed some overthrows as well. But, you know, overall, again, I was very impressed by his composure, arm and mechanics all around. Um, and, and I really feel better about Will Levis. I would say I'm leaning in more. I'm buying in more to Will Levis. I'm buying more of that stock. He's not going to be a quarterback that I think is you know, going to have a higher ceiling than an Anthony Richardson. But with the way he played, he 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 gives you some things to think about. He gives you th some things to to look back on as you're, you know, going through your notes for a show or whatever the case may be. And it's like, OK, Will Levis is actually here to compete, or at least you hope he is based off of how he played in that uh, that first preseason game. And I love how you gave the respect to DeAndre Hopkins as well. Still the best hands in the league, mm -hmm. even on the other side of 30 years old. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about.